Um, good morning, everyone, once again. And um, so most of us must have heard about um, some client side hosting services like Netlify, um, Netlify, and other free hosting web services, right? So many people have been asking me, so is it possible for, for you to host a static website on Azure? And I got to find out recently as well, because I use Firebase as well to host static websites. And I knew a couple of people, a um, couple of my friends use Netlify to host their static websites. And uh, so basically, if you have an Azure subscription, you should be able to host your static website on Azure um, using the blob storage. And that is what we'll be treating today. So what exactly is a static website? Um, so basically, it's a combination of different but related web pages with fixed content. So this content, this content, um, they do not change. Um, they are fixed. Um, they are not dynamic as opposed to a dynamic website where the content is uh, being um, delivered from the server side. Right, so basically the static website contains um, your HTML, CSS, and also your JavaScript scripts. And um, it, there's no really anything special to it per se. It's just static, dynamic it's information that is getting is not from the server, All right? So, there are a couple of, you know, you know um, hosting services, like I said earlier on. We have Netlify, we have Firebase, and Netlify is quite popular these days. We also have GitHub pages as well. You know, let's say you just want a portfolio page um, for yourself, nothing too serious, just a simple description of what you do and probably some contact information. You could use a static website. You could do that on GitHub pages, Netlify, Firebase, etc. There are tons of them. But let's say you have an, an, an Azure subscription and you're wondering, okay, fine. Uh, can I do the same thing? Does Azure have these functionalities as other client side, um, client side hosting services? Yes, and that is what we're looking at. Right. So, introduction to the Azure Blob Storage. It's a Microsoft's object storage solution for the cloud. So uh, basically the blob storage is optimized for maximum amounts of unstructured data. So your unstructured data could include um, videos, images, pictures, you know, documents, etc. So it doesn't follow the the structured way of you know, of of data manipulation and all that or data presentation. It's unstructured, right? So that is what we'll be using for um, for this particular type webinar to host a static website. Okay, so um, too much of the enough of the you know introduction and all that. Um, if you want a little bit of a more um, introduction into this, I, I wrote an article about this on my medium article. I think Chisom is going to post the link for for you all to consume at your spare time. It talks about the the various static host um, services that we have and how also the demonstration as well on how to host your static website on the blog stage in Azure is also there. So let me this and I have okay. So I have a project open here um, on Ash, um, on my VS Code editor. So we, we're needing a VS Code editor. Uh, you can use, the truth is you can't use other um, VS, um, other text editor for this. You are actually have to use VS Code because in order for you to host your static website on Azure, you'll be needing an extension, an Azure extension on your VS Code. And that extension will allow you to connect directly to your storage account on Azure, log in, and then locate whatever storage that you've created on your Azure account, all right? So you need that sync from your VS Code editor, text editor, to your Azure, all right? So that's why we're using VS Code for this particular tech 
webinar for this special webinar. So I have my VS Code here. I'm just going to create um, an index.html file and style.css and also index.js. We also need an error page, error.html in case, uh, let's say it hits a four, 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 it, it gets to this place. So we do that and we have it here. So basically um, create a simple markup here and I'll have to call my I have to call my style.css, which is going to continue our styles. Just quickly name this as Azure, Azure Blog Storage. Azure Blog Storage. Right, so here, let's have a simple section. And um, it does have a diff here, so it does have an HTML. Which one? Um, I'll say my portfolio, something simple, just, just want to display the website. And I'll have a small here, small tag here. How about something of that? Let's have a history. Uh, let's see. Right, so we have this. I think this is just, I think this is cool. So let's give this a class. Let's call this portfolio. Uh, let's call this portfolio. Good, so come to our CSS and just add a little bit of styles to it. I will do padding zero. I will do margin um, zero as well. Then, my render text text rendering will do this. I want to do box sizing. Uh, other box. Okay, cool. So come to our section. We want to do display flex, and also we also want to justify content to the center. Align the items as well in the center. Uh, Let's do fonts, font size, size 16. Right, so far each one, each one, want to do font size. We do have a font size for each one. Just add a little sad code. Okay, so let's do Gray. All right. Okay. One. All right. So that's just about it now. Now let's go to Azure and create storage account. I have my Azure account open here, so I will go ahead and create a log storage. Before that, I need to create a storage account. Before you can use the blob storage services or functionalities on Azure, you must have a storage account, and this storage account must be a general purpose V2 account. The general purpose V2 account gives you the ability to be able to use the blob storage services in the storage um, in storage account. So to create an account over here, you can see right over here, I'm going to click on storage account right here on Azure, then click on add storage account. Right, so you need a resource group, okay? So I'm just going to pick one of the resource group here. Let's do this. 
right? So the storage account, we're going to give it webinar, webinar storage, okay. Check webinar, okay, check webinar, all right. Um, it's our storage here, so that we know it's a storage account. Okay, so our location uh, is not Europe. Um, the account type, all right. So I was saying before that the general purpose account provides storage for blob. So you would want to use a storage V2, a general purpose V2, because over here in the drop down, we have, okay, general purpose V1, general purpose V2. So you might want to use the V2, okay? So we we'll choose the V2 account, all this checks out and click on review and then create. The V2 account, the general purpose V2 account gives you the ability to be able to use the blob storage services in Azure. I'll click on create. So our deployment is on the way. So when it's done, we should be able to click and go to the resource group. All right, so we are done. We're gonna click on this, go to resource group to the resource. Now you can see here we have a left pane. The left pane contains, you know, overview, activity log, some certain things, access keys, geo, cause, configuration, and all that. But what we really need in this place is the static website. So I just now, okay, this is it over here. The static website is directly, it's inside the settings category. So this is the settings category here. Then you go straight down to the static website, click on it. So mind you, this is our storage account, the one we just created recently, which is tech webinar storage, All right? By default, the static website is disabled, so you need to enable it to click on enable. Then it's asking for the index document name. The index document name is actually the main page, right? So the main page that we created here is um, index.html, which is this, this guy here, right? So I'll come here and put index.html and the error document part. Remember, we created an error um, a page. This is it here. Um, let me go back again to that check. Okay, so we have an error page here. Nothing, there's nothing here, All right? So um, let's go back. Right, and then click on save. Good. Now, when you click on save, it provides you with the primary endpoint. So this link here is where your static um, website is gonna be hosted. This is the link. So if anyone wants to view your static website, this is the link they need to go to, the URL, the Uniform Resource Locator. This is where they need to click on to, to get access to your, your blob storage or your static website. All right, so back in the VS Code, I'm going to connect with the Azure storage. Uh, click on my extensions. I have it somewhere here, Azure. Azure storage, you can see it right here. So to, let's say you've not installed this particular extension. To install the extension, you just click on this button here, the extension, country shift X on your VS code, then you come in and then type the name of the extension that you want to install on your VS code. And for example, I want to install Azure Storage. Type in the keyword Azure Storage, but because I already installed it, that's why it's showing here. If you have not installed the Azure Storage, you get something like this, install. When you click on it automatically, it gets installed in your VS Code. Okay, then I'll click on this guy, just storage, have it here already. Okay, so when you click, when you install it, it comes automatically with this particular um, icon here on this side. So you click here, 
and because okay i need to sign in so it promises you to sign into your azure account all right so into sign in all right so it says you are signed in now you can close this page thank you very much all right so come in now so it displays when you are signing it displays your subscription you want your you your subscribe to currently okay so remember we created our blob storage in the which one did we create our blob storage in I think the microsoft yes so it's here microsoft azure sponsorship um we have so this is the one we created the tech webinar blob storage okay click on it Click on blob containers. Okay. This guy here. We missing anything? Right, so if you are signed in, you should have a blob storage. Okay. All right. So what we need to do right now is to deploy. I think that's just it. So we need to deploy. To deploy a static website, all you need to do is you come to the root directory of your application um so this is root directory so just right click around here okay then you click deploy to static website all right so if i click on deploy to static website it prompts me again for the um subscription click on the subscription and remember we have um remember we have we created this guy tech webinar storage okay click on it Okay, so you can see over here. All right, so deployment complete. The primary web endpoint is this guy. So I'll click on this guy here to browse websites. Okay, so here is it. So you can see we have a static website up and running. So remember, I said this is the URL uh, for to access your static website. I need to add a little bit of Padding to this guy, margin. Let's quickly do that. So, portfolio class. So, do dot portfolio, do margin top, and we do this to three RAM. Save. We need to deploy again. Start a website. Take this guy. Yes, the point of it. So it's going to replace the previous one we just deployed. So let's go to our website. Okay. Imagine it's not working. So why is it not working? So let's check again. So the portfolio. So we named it put portfolio okay that's that's nice i have to go back here and check the name margin top theorem um, let's add a border to it so we know that um know that it's actually working border solid let's do red and let's add a little bit of padding so this game so let's Deploy again. Oh. All right, so let's go to your website and see how it looks this time around. Okay, still not. not working right so let's open this on um, 
There's a position of this guy. We have an arrow. Okay. Many spots, spots of spots of debugging, right? Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So let's open this on. Let's review and open this on a normal browser. It's, it's working here. I mean, this is what's supposed to show, right? So let's debug and see what the reason is. So, each one. this should be given a darker color. Let's try again and deploy. So let's come back here and refresh. Yeah, so it works. So we have a static website. Um, something simple, my portfolio, you could, you know, make it look more beautiful for the purpose of this, um, for this demonstration. So that's when we have this and so, so I was talking about the article that I wrote. Um, so basically, it explains in details um, some other things I didn't talk about. Uh, majorly, I talked about most of these things. Uh, if you want to look at it at your spare time, you can just you know skim through this. It's a very short article on how you can host a static website on blob storage and. I think that is it. Okay, um, so to do that, there is a functionality here on Azure um, that allows you to use your own domain. Um, give me a minute, let me quickly open. Hey, did we have so many tabs? Jeez. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let's do this. Let's. Let me log in again to Azure. Tabs open. Load Azure. Okay. So there is a okay. Let's come over here. There is a functionality um, on the blob storage that allows you to custom domain. So this is the custom domain part about you had the domain name and so basically you must have you must have gotten that domain name got a domain name and then you paid for it and you can use other um, services to do that and then you come right here and then insert the domain name i have not actually tested this functionality but i think it's pretty straightforward from here so when you have the domain name you click on it insert it and then 
do sync. For example, let's say the domain name is um, tech tech webinar dot com as a domain name or dot com dot ng or dot co dot uk depend on dot ng as you use indirect to know that then click on save it's going to check so it says fail to update storage account under the custom domain name could not be verified cine mapping from blah 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 does not exist so if you have created a domain if you have bought a domain name which you should pass this particular this particular step when you're done i mean then you should have it live using your own custom domain so don't forget it's on that blob service by the left hand side the left panel you can see blob service and then you can find custom domain right here No, 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 no. The, 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 all, the only thing they have access to that is public is the URL. Just like you say, somebody, you tell somebody, visit my website, www.this.com. So when a person visits your website, the person doesn't have access to what is behind your website, right? So it doesn't have access to your images, your other things, your storage account. All what the person has access to is your URL to display your static website. Thank you. You felt so kind. Well, Kaish, can you share this uh, document? Um, so the question was, um, that anything that is displayed online, people have access to it. I mean, it's, it's like saying that I, I get the point you're trying to make probably hackers hacking into your, your website and all, but this is just a static website. They, they don't really have access to anything except the URL that displays the web pages. And if you are to look at the storage itself let me quickly share my screen again um if you have to look at this the blob storage that we created this guy here let me refresh this if i right click and click on view view page source this, this is all you get can we all see my screen this is all you get right so i mean this is your static website basically this is all you get there is no way to pass this second Emmanuel, hope you can hear me. All right, so this is this is our static website. All we have access to is this guy, which is the you know webinar storage, you know, the URL link. And remember, I told you that you can also customize this link by having your own custom domain. But if you are concerned about security, I mean this is just in, this is static website. It's nothing much to this guy here. If I click on view page source, you can see all that it shows uh, you know, HTML tags, you know, 
and and all this. So basically, there is nothing here to to have access to.